Hi everyone, welcome to the Olympus Month in Review. My name is Fraser, I'm one of the leaders of Olympus, and today I'm reviewing November 2018. I'm going to be looking at what our clan members have been up to, what they've achieved, and we're going to celebrate their achievements with them. If you'd like to feature in one of these videos in the future, just send me a DM and have a chat with me. Tell me what you've been up to, tell me what you've achieved, tell me what you're planning to do, and I'll talk about it in one of these videos. So firstly, a few clan things. We held the first Olympus podcast on the 16th of November. That was live streamed on my Twitch. A VOD of that podcast will be available on this YouTube channel. That was a lot of fun to make. I loved doing it. There will be a podcast every month or so. And um, it was pretty entertaining to watch from what I've heard. So highly recommend that. It's a little bit long. It's like two and a half, three hours, but... If, if you have time, I highly recommend watching that. And we also held a few clan competitions throughout the month. The first one was an overall XP week, and FFA won that. Congratulations. Um, this competition was meant to encourage some efficient skilling, and uh, this competition sort of turned into a chin fest. Who could throw the most chins? Who could ice burst the most monkeys? I'm not trying to take away from FFA's uh, victory, but a lot of XP was gained and maybe not a whole lot of account progression was made. But nonetheless, FFA won that. Congratulations. And we also held an EHP week. So that was a scaled down comp because it's not too interesting to see who can do the most herblor and prayer and construction in, in one month. So these were real hours, how much someone played RuneScape in, in the week. And um, Hyga smashed it. Wasn't even close, honestly. Um, Stiskel came second, and Tim was third. Huge weeks from them both, but just Hyga clown them, to be honest. So, this week was held during the Fantasy EHP comp. So, if you aren't aware of what Fantasy is, it's not so much a skilling competition, but it's more so a, a no-lifing competition to see who can play the most RuneScape in a month, efficiently. And, um... I personally am not a big fan of it, because I don't think a lot of skill is involved. It's just, um, yeah, how much you can play RuneScape, so... Anyway, th this occurred during Fantasy. There was more incentive for them to play a lot of hours, and they've been smashing it. And on the topic of Fantasy, last note, um, is that Hyga, Lycrid, Stiskel, Alt, Timos have been all smashing it in Fantasy. They've been doing awesome. They've been topping the, the leaderboards, as you can see. Hyga. <laughs> yep. Anyway, fantasy. That's it. Um, one false step lost his hardcore status on the 17th of November. So that sucked. That was pretty big news. That was all over Reddit. All the streamers were talking about it. And he was ranked 4. So I don't see him losing his rank anytime soon. People like to say free rank because the hardcore died or whatever. But no, he's not free rank until you pass him. And you won't pass him most likely. So... That sucks, he lost his status, but it's not a big deal in my opinion. He still has everything that he has on his account, he didn't lose anything. Um, he still plays his Iron Man. And here's the picture that he posted with his loot from his hardcore life. He had a pretty ma like massive account, like he has a lot of supplies there, a lot of items. Um, a lot of items people won't even ever achieve on an Iron Man account, so... Very impressive, very unfortunate that he lost his status, but... As I said, not not really a big deal. He's been playing RuneScape probably more now than he used to. Because he's able to do Volkath Slayer, he's able to do more things in the game. And he's probably having more fun with the game now, to be honest. So, it's cool that he achieved so much as a hardcore. And he has made a new hardcore Iron Man that he's now also lost as well. So, uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, he still played the Iron Man alongside his new hardcore. It's not like he's sl slowed down at all. He's probably played a lot more than he used to since losing his status. And yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. He's probably enjoying the game more now, but people were very invested in Hard Cry Man, so... Yeah. Now, maxing. A lot of Olympus members maxed in November. Everyone that maxed this month, congratulations. It's an awesome achievement, and I'm really happy for you. Please don't think that I'm playing down your achievement, because I'm not... It's just that I need to keep the video short. So first up, we have YouTube superstar, Jack RS. Congratulations, Beast. We'll Smork, 3000, Max's Iron Man. Awesome. 
He's been a previous PVMer and he's now started skilling. Well, you obviously have to do a lot of skilling to max your account, but he's been continuing fire making with me. Um, we have a fire making comp happening right now, and he's next to me pretty much all day fire making, so he's not slowed down at all since maxing. Um, yeah, awesome, man. Congrats. And we have Arco maxing. So this has been Arco's main thing he's worked towards for the past few months, and he's achieved it, so I'm very happy for him. Just I haven't seen Arco online since he maxed, so I hope he's still enjoying the game. But yep, Arco Max, Owner Raider maxed. I think I said that right. Hard name to say, but a lot of Olympians maxed in November, so congratulations everyone. And Rice Cup as well. So Rice Cup's a new Olympian. He's new to the clan, and he's newly maxed as well. And he's also made a new Iron Man account that he's uh, continued a YouTube series on, I want to say. So if you're into that sort of thing, have a look. Support your Olympus members, fellow Olympus members. And Sander maxed on his hard crime man. Flexing on everyone at the Wildy Altar. That's awesome, Sander. Congrats. Uh, must feel good. And yeah, lucky you didn't die. <laughs> and these three... I'm Iron, what the fuck, Qualitative, and MYZI. I have no idea how to say that last one, but these three Olympians maxed in November as well. Couldn't find any pictures or anything, so I just wanted to include them because they are members of the clan and they did max, and we wanted to share their achievements, so congratulations, guys. Ari Slash managed to get his Infernal Cape, so that's been something he's been working towards for the past, I want to say, two weeks. He's been sort of playing RuneScape all day, every day. And working towards this Infernal Cape. So I'm very happy for Ari. He was very emotional when he got it. It was a funny clip. I recommend watching it on his Twitch. And uh, a lot of emo emotion and very happy. Rightfully so. I'll I was very emotional when I got my um, Infernal Cape. It's fucking awesome. It's, it's a very hard grind. It's very stressful and it's very challenging. So Ari Slash with the Infernal Cape. Awesome man. Very happy for you. As well as Red. Red got his Infernal Cape. Red is just a smiley in Olympus, but I think Infernal Cape is pretty awesome, so if you ever get an Infernal Cape, you'll be in one of these videos, even if you're not a clan member. So Red, congrats. And Dead Vidu, Tom, coming in with his 20th Zuck on his hard crying man to flex on those two. So that's cool. Just want to include that. Alrighty, now some raiding records and raiding achievements. Corel coming in with the improved and current challenge mode solo record. So Karel is a new member to the clan. He's a pretty quiet guy, very nice from when I've spoken to him. And very good at RuneScape, as you can see. I think he's just hunting, well from what I can tell, an ancestral top in this picture. And yeah, awesome. Smashing it. V very efficient. <laughs> 60k points in 42 minutes, not bad. Uh, Blayage, Code I Wand, awesome. I think I'd rather a Code I Wand than a Twisted Bow, to be honest. Kodai is probably the top thing you can receive from raids. Maybe aside from a Dragon Hunter crossbow, but it's still up there. So, Blayage, congrats. And Blexit, Twisted Bow, 87kc, that's wild. 87, man. Where's my Twisted Bow? No reason to have that Fire Cape anymore. That needs to be an Infernal Cape now. Got no excuse. Got a Twisted Bow. The Inferno's become a lot easier. Smash out the Inferno now. And uh, Blexit also with the Elder Maul. So, two Mega Rares coming in in one week for Blexit. Awesome. And uh, Zekken coming in with the Kodai, rated number 200 on the dot. That's awesome, man. I'm so jealous of the Kodai ones, even more so than the Twisted Bows, but yeah, that's awesome. And uh, Smork with the Mega Rare as well, with his first Elder Maul. So, congratulations, Smork. He's got his Max Cape on there as he maxed in November. And naturally me with a Twisted Bow. His first Twisted Bow. 91kc. All these 90kc Twisted Bows, man. Fuck. Where's mine? But yeah, I know Tom said he wants to get an Infernal Cape now. Twisted Bow makes the Inferno so much easier. And I'm um, very happy for Tom. That's awesome, man. Another Twisted Bow coming in. A lot of Olympians receiving Twisted Bows in November. Uh, Mickey, Twisted Bow, 123kc. Two hour long raid, 10k points. That is the most well-deserved Twisted Bow I've ever seen. Uh, she, she got the Twisted Bow, turned the stream on, and I took this picture, and... Yep, there it is. 
and Iko with a his second twisted bow actually not not his first. So this is his second twisted bow. So money for the ult, I guess. Uh, hasn't really progressed his account with this picture, but second twisted bow. And um, speaking of second twisted bows, here's Lugs, and this is the twisted bow that was alked on Twitter for some clout. <laughs> I don't know what it outs for, like a few mil red? I guess that's the most useful thing you can do with it, but I'd rather have like one one bill on the old, so. Anyway, Lug and um, Iko with their second Twisted Bows. And Lug with an, his first Ancestral Rope Top as well. So this made him 13 out of 15 for raids. His 13th unique, two left. Not sure what the two are, but two left. And that's awesome, man. 1300kc. Awesome. And Ancestral Robe uh, bottom for Zewos. Congratulations. Awesome. Nice upgrade. Very nice upgrade. Ancestral is awesome. And Tom with his Dragon Hunter crossbow. So he this clip was very funny. It's on his uh, Twitch. Recommend watching it. Um, he's pretty happy to, to receive it. It's probably what he was hunting for. It's the main thing most Iron Man want because of Warcap. And uh, yeah. Awesome, man. Also, Jack with his... Third Dragon Hunter crossbow and second pet. And no account progression was made in this picture, but cool flex. Thanks, Jack. Very cool. Uh, Zekken with his first Rigor Scroll. Awesome. Congratulations, Zekken. He's got the Kodai and the Rigor now. That's nuts. Awesome. So yeah, smashing it. A lot of raiding happening. And a lot of uh, revs being killed, I guess. Marines receives a lot of shit for killing revs, being in Olympus. As we're pretty efficient Iron Man. And uh, Revs is sort of a noobs. So. Anyway. Marines received his crossbow. Happy for you man. Congratulations. Very cool. He also received his second crossbow. So yep. There you go. And 908. Ultimate Iron Man. Received his Dragon Warhammer on 2500kc. So that's awesome man. The Dragon Warhammer grind is awful. <laughs> it's not fun. It's awful waking up in the morning, it's like, oh, I get to go kill a lizard shaman all day again. Fantastic. So, that's a massive achievement, very happy for you. And 908, since receiving his Dragon Warhammer, has been raiding. Doing some Theatre of Blood. So, he hit 100kc in this picture. No drops. Nothing in 100kc. So, that sucks, but 100kc, that's a fair amount of raids, so. Smashing it. And he got his first drop here, about 8 raids later, 108 I think, and he got a face guard, which is useless. Um, <laughs> it sort of commits him to trying to complete the set now, because as an ultimate he can't, he loses an inventory space or a looting bag spot for a face guard. It's, it's a Sara item, it's tanky, it's like a Varric's Helm, it's, yeah, <laughs> he needs to complete the set now I guess, but at least he received a purple, he experienced the feeling of receiving something. And Soup completed Dragon Slayer 2 this month. So completing this quest on a hardcore is very impressive, to be honest. It's uh, quite a challenging quest. And he also got a Dragon Bone Necklace alongside his Assembler. So Soup with the PVMing. Very cool. And one of my friends, one of my longtime friends, I've been friends with this guy now for about 9 years, 10 years. Luckless Man has got his fourth Zenite, his final Zenite. On 3,200 demonic gorillas. So that's pretty rough. That's pretty shit. Um, he can finally block black demons now. And Vaddy completed Armadil. Got his chain skirt. Awesome. Very happy for Vaddy. Can do some efficient slayer now. Um, maybe he can do some more raiding now. I don't think he will. Because I don't think he really enjoys raids. But there we go. V Vaddy completed armor. Happy for Vaddy. And this is SE Space Nate in CC. He got an eternal gem from slaying. So very cool, man. Congrats. And Charmander was hunting a dragon pickaxe. I don't know how an Iron Man max without a dragon pickaxe, but Charmander did. He got a tyrannical ring. He wasn't happy about it. He was crying about it, actually. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, anyway, he managed to finally get it. He's got the dragon pickaxe now. One short of the number. But, uh, yeah, he's been mining a lot. Congrats, Charmander. And here's me, finishing my 2.26 uh, dry streak. Pretty awful dry streak. Um, at this point I had 5 drops in 339kc, which is really shit. So this is number 6. 
and it was my third leg guards. So <laughs> there you go. Um, third set of leg guards for me. And nine raids later, I got a staff, which is awesome. Very happy about the staff. Staff will help me do some chambers of Zerek. Speed that up a bit and do some no prep ohms. Very happy about the staff. And Jack got the little Zig pet along with Lawn. Congrats, guys. Very cool. Zewas, pet Kraken. Um, awesome. Happy for Zewas with the Kraken pet. Can now block it, I guess. Smork. Coming in with the Smoke Devil Pet. Very happy for him. And a lot of pets coming in, hey? A Jack with, with a Venonata Spiderling. 61kc. That's well deserved, Jack. And awesome. Very epic. So, yep. More pets. More pets. Fegaris with the Heron. Uh, Fegaris also got the Heron on his main at about 45mm XP, but his main isn't in Olympus, so it's not here in the video. Nonetheless, Fegaris managed to get the Heron pet on his Iron Man. Awesome. Zewas, thieving pet, congrats. Uh, Zewas also got 400 mil XP, as you can see, in November. I think there's a, a picture of that later, but awesome achievements. And me with the Phoenix. So I've been doing some Winter Todd uh, for the fire making comp that we've got happening. And a few hours into that, I got the Phoenix. Pretty cool. And Charmander got the Herbie pet. So 9,000 KC almost. Not really that insane, considering the rate is 6,500. So, yep. Herbie for Charmander. I know he really wanted it, so I'm happy for him. And... Carlo. 500 mil XP. Awesome. Nice feeling. Halfway there. Halfway to one bill. One bill's the, the massive one, in my opinion. But yes, 500 mil's awesome. And Zero's with 400 mil. Mephur got 200 mil hit points. That's pretty massive. I think rank 3 he was, or well, he is now, forever. Rank 3 hit points for Mephur. He's also got 200 mil attack, 200 mil strength, 200 mil woodcutting. He's not maxed. Anyway, uh, Timos got 200 mil thieving. Awesome. Timos has been smashing it. He's been doing a lot of fantasy. Uh, fishing and fantasy, I believe. And yeah, smashed 200 mil thieving. Happy for him. And <laughs> I linked to the next one, but it's Charmander. He also got 200 mil thieving. Um, yeah, awesome guys. Thieving is a, a nice one. They're taking after me, I guess. Anyway. Uh, Agility Hog Ryan Man got 150 mil agility this month. It's freaking <laughs> insane. 150 mil agility, I don't know. I'd say you're close to 200 mil now, but you're just not, like 50 mil's not even, that's, that's a long time. It's a long way away from 200 mil. <laughs> but yeah, 150 mil now, awesome. And Sawn coming in with 150 mil Hunter. Um, Sawn has been striving to get rank 1 ultimate Iron Man range locked in. And he's taken rank 1 range now, as well as 150 mil range. Um, and yeah, he's smashing it. He's playing a lot of RuneScape. He's doing a lot of Hunter, a lot of chinning. Awesome. And Lycrid, 100 mil thieving. This is during Fantasy. He's been swimming for Fantasy. Swimming's the most efficient thieving method you can do. Mix of agility and thieving. And Lycrid's been playing some pretty insane hours. Doing like 400 hours a month. It's pretty nuts. And Karel, 100 mil hit points. Alongside 3000 <laughs> grotesque guardian kills somehow. That boss is so shit, I don't know how you do this, but... Smashing it, 100 mil hit points. And Vaddy with 50 mil crafting. So Vaddy did a lot of Tazar thieving for his 200 mil thieving. And he's cut all of his um, uncuts for now. And he's blown glass. 50 mil crafting. That's awesome. And Timos with 30 mil fishing. As I said, he was fishing throughout fantasy. He's got 30 mil fishing. Almost there myself. It's a pretty good feeling. And it's, it's a long skill. And he also got 20 mil agility from fishing. So, awesome, man. A few 99s here. So, 13D got 99 agility. Congrats. And... D Squarius got 99 runecrafting in November. That's a lot of soul runes. <laughs> Don't know why you need that many soul runes, but he's, he, he has them now. He'll probably end up selling them for like 30 mil or whatever it is. So yeah, awesome. And here is NYK with 99 farming. And farming, agility, runecrafting, all really nice 99s, so congrats guys. Very cool. 
The Olympus statisticians came in with the uh, birdhouse fix. We saved the birdhouses for everyone. You guys are welcome. Praise Olympus. But yeah, um, not kidding. We we did collect a lot of birdhouse runs and we told the, the mods that it was fucked. That it was really fucked, actually. And they fixed it, so that's pretty cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave a like. Tell me what you thought. Bye!